My work environment is different than Mike's. Um, we're a small company, and um, but I, I've been in business for a long time. Um, we started in 1978, and it was mostly uh, one more trial than error that kept us going. And uh, when I met Jerry, it was at a time when the economic climate in New York was was going down about three years ago and the real estate situation was even worse and I'm very dependent on the real estate situation uh, for our work. And I met Jerry in, in a networking group, BNI, and just the questions that she started to ask me made me think differently about my business and about what I was doing there. And um, she led me to believe that I could have more impact on what was going on than I thought I could have. I felt like we were kind of rising and falling with the tide over all the years and we would somehow survive because we did have a loyal uh, clientele of people that we had satisfied over the years. But Jerry helped me get specific about that and to quantify things. She asked me where my business was coming from and the course that I took was in uh, time management and marketing and um, I went through these same kind of, uh, you know, personal questions, personal attitudes, uh, the things that I brought to my business, um, and I determined that um, a lot of time, a lot of my time was was wasted by being too open to my employees at, all the time. I mean, I've kept employees over all the years. I don't know whether it's exactly loyalty or we just put up with each other, but but one way or another. I've got people who are with me for a very long time, and I'm receptive to what they have to say. But it was disturbing my day. You know, if there was some problem going on, I'd hear about it, I'd deal with it. Another problem, I'd hear about it, I'd deal with it. And it would take me away from doing other things. So uh, she suggested that perhaps I ought to organize those kinds of discussions to a certain hour of the day, which I did. And I said to the guys, you know, if there's something to talk about it, we've, we've all been doing this together you know, for a long time now, hold on to it, uh, come in tomorrow morning before the job is going to go out, we'll have a chance to talk. And that did two things. One, it gave them time to think about the things that were worth really bringing up. Um, so a lot of them didn't get brought up. Two, a lot of them didn't want to get up early, <laughs> so I didn't have to deal with it. And three, if the problem really persisted, they would get up early and I would. And it left me more time during the day to do things like you were saying. I, I, was, I was doing things that I should have delegated. And one of the key things that, that Jerry mentioned to me was that if indeed I am the boss, I should do the things that I'm good at and the things I like. And if I could identify the things that I need to do that I don't like, why not have somebody else do those? And that's what I did. And that freed me up just enormously in terms of being able to devote more time to talking to customers, to doing estimates, to following up, to interceding uh, where I really needed to, and to develop plans for the business. She also asked me how much of my business was coming from referral. And my answer was a lot. And she said, well, how much? I don't know exactly. Well, keep track. How do you keep track? Uh, I'll ask people when they call. I'll know who's calling if we, if we dealt with them before. Do you have a customer? Uh, she called it a CRM program. I said, what's CRM? So I, I learned about customer relationship management programs. And I started um, entering all of our customers who were calling into this database, in effect. And the guys that were working with me in the office did the same thing. And we were tracking then how many of these people were repeat customers or how many people were coming to us from previous customers where they'd been recommended and a lot turned out to be like 90 some odd percent and at that point I was also tracking how much of our work was coming to us from cold calling or people that were um, seeing our advertising on the internet um, and there was a small percentage that was coming to us that way but the success that was coming from in terms of us booking those people as opposed to the people that were coming to us referred was much less. So what I did at Jerry's advice, I mean she let me come to the decision but um, she kind of led me to it was I stopped advertising and instead I put all my money or that money into developing my website so that it would reflect 
um, the culture of, of our company, the fact that we've been together for so long, the fact that over all of our history we don't have a single complaint against us because we deal with complaints well, and um, encourage people that call us that are being referred from one of their friends or relatives, have a look at our website. It gives you an idea of what we're like. And that proved to be just enormously successful. And in an environment where everything was going down and other people who I knew were in the business were having the same difficulties that I was, um, we started to turn it around. And I had to hire some more people. And we added somebody else to the office. And I suddenly felt like um, you know, that this work that I was doing with Jerry was having an effect. And it passed down to my guys because the work that we were getting was more consistent. Um, they were knowing that uh, we're returning to customers, that they were requested a lot of the time. You know, is so-and-so still working for you? Yeah, well, it would be great to see him again. So we were able to do all of that because of uh, the system that we put in place as a result of my work with Jerry. So um, as I, I say a lot of time, my guys don't know Jerry, but they like Jerry. And, <laughs> and we're going to expand uh, the program now so that uh, we are going to have meetings with, with some of the guys and Jerry to, to take it further. Um, it's, just, it's been a remarkable thing for me. Um, I've been able to uh, still be myself, um, still be relatively happy, which was more important to me always than uh, working the the 14 hour day and being and getting crazy behind it I still work the 14 hour day but I somehow wasn't productive enough and now I'm I'm much more efficient at dealing with things and um, it's it's translated down to uh, what goes on for my guys and my customers and, um, and his grandchildren and my grandchildren and it's given me more time for for my grandchildren so I have a a, a system in place now where I can leave um, and you know I'm always reachable, but I can leave. So I thank Jerry enormously for all of that, and uh, I can't recommend her more highly. So thank you so much, Lenny. Thank you. Thank you.